வெல்கம் பேக் டு த வீடியோ சீரீஸ் ஆன் மேக் திருவிஷன் மேட் மெட்ரிகுலஸ் டாபிக் இன்டர்கரல் டே டுவெண்ட்டி டூ ஏரியா பவுண்டட் பை கர்வ்ஸ் ரிவிஷன் ஆஸ் த நேம் சஜஸ்ட் மீன்ஸ் லுக்கிங் பேக் ஓவர் த ப்ரீவியஸ்லி லேர்ன் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் என்ஷூரிங் தட் இட் இஸ் கிளியர் அண்ட் ஃப்ரெஷ் இன் த மைண்ட் ஃபைவ் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் பர் டே ஃப்ரம் செலக்டட் டாபிக் இஸ் ப்ரெசென்டட் அட் திஸ் வீடியோ சீரீஸ் The steps in answers are supported by the ideas used for getting the answer. Let us recollect what is the area bounded by region. Let f of x is a continuous function defined on the closed interval a to b. Then the area bounded by the curve y is equal to f of x, x axis and the ordinates x is equal to a and x is equal to b is given by integral a to b f of x dx which is nothing but integral a to b y dx. <clears throat> to find this area we have to integrate y from the given equation or given function from a to b suppose if the area bounded by the curve x is equal to g of y and it is bounded by the y axis and the value of y from c to d it is given by integral c to d x dy let us move on to some questions Find the area under the curve y is equal to root 6x plus 4 above the x-axis from x is equal to 0 and 2. Here the function is given and the range of x is given from 0 to 2. Therefore, area is simply from a to b y dx. For integral 0 to 2 root 6x plus 4 dx. We know the integral of root x. It is 2 by 3 x power 3 by 2. But here the coefficient of x is 6. therefore it is 2 by 3 into 6x plus 4 whole power 3 by 2 by upon 6 coefficient of x to be divided from the interval 0 to 2 i will substitute 2 now 6 into 2 12 12 plus 4 16 the first 16 power 3 by 2 when i put 0 it will be 6 into 0 plus 4 therefore 4 power 3 by 2 the constants are taken outside 16 power 3 by 2 is 16 square root of 16 the whole cube that is 4 cube that is 64 4 power 3 by 2 is root 4 the whole cube therefore it is 8 for the final answer is 56 by 9 square units now let us visualize what is actually the area which we have found 56 by 9 in a diagram this is the figure y is equal to square root of 6x plus 4 and the area enclosed between x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 2 is over here let us move on to the next question find the area bounded by the curve y is equal to 4 minus x square under the lines y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 3 here we have been given the area bounded by the y axis and the line y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 3 let us see it is the area will be integral c to d x dy x dy because the range of y is given this is the area it is a downward parabola we have to do it from y is equal to 0 which is the x axis y is equal to 3 is a line parallel to the x axis now we are seeing that the curve is symmetrical about the y axis therefore we will get two times integral 0 to 3 x dy we have been given y is equal to x square minus 4 therefore x will be root 4 minus y Now, let us know that what is the integration of root y? It will be 2 by 3 into y power 3 by 2. You are having in place of y, you are having 4 minus y. Therefore, that coefficient of y to be divided. Constant taken outside, it is minus 4 by 3. Then, when I put y is equal to 3, it is 1 power 3 by 2. When I put y is equal to 0, it will be 4 power 3 by 2. Therefore, the final answer 28 by 3 square units. this is the diagram once again that this is the downward parabola y is equal to 4 minus x square and y is equal to 3 is a line parallel to x axis we have integrated with respect to y now let us now move on to questions where two curves will be involved let us now take parabola and straight line and let us see some questions under that the area bounded by the region x square less than or equal to y less than or equal to mod x whenever it is given that first identify what are the curves given in the question the first curve is x square is equal to y it is a upward parabola and y is equal to mod x which is the modulus function the diagram will be like this i have drawn upward parabola and the 
modulus function which is uh, having centered at the origin y is equal to mod x let us move on to the question once again this is a diagram for it and here we are visualizing that the curves are symmetrical about the y axis therefore area will be 2 times now x axis is not involved therefore from 0 to 1 y from the upper curve minus y from the lower curve when you find y from the upper curve we will find all the area enclosed by the straight line when you find y from the lower curve that is the parabola and it will be the region enclosed by the parabola we have to subtract it to get the shaded region for so two times y from the line which is the upper curve minus y from the parabola which is the lower curve we have been given the equation now the straight line is y is equal to x the parabola is y is equal to x square is equal to y therefore i am putting there x minus x square integration of x is x square by 2 integration of x square is x cube by 3 when I put 1, it is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 and uh, at the lower limit, it is 0. For final answer, 2 into 1 by 6, which is 1 by 3 square units. Here, x axis is not involved. We are using the idea that y the area enclosed by the upper curve minus the area enclosed by the lower curve. This is the diagram once again. y is equal to x square is the upward parabola. y is equal to mod x is a modulus function. The area enclosed by both the curves is area enclosed by the straight line minus the area enclosed by the parabola. But here we are having the area is symmetric about the y axis. Therefore, we are multiplying it by 2. Again, we will go for another problem. Area bounded by the region. The parabola y square is equal to 4x and the line y is equal to x. Now, what are the given curves? y square is equal to 4x RHS parabola and y is equal to x the speciality line passing through the origin therefore we will find at what place the both the line and the parabola meet for that we have to solve it I am using this equation y square is equal to 4x and y is equal to x I am getting x square is equal to 4x for x square minus 4x is 0 for x is equal to 0 comma 4 let us see the diagram now parabola and the straight line meet at x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 4. Therefore, from the diagram, we have to integrate from 0 to 4. Now, x axis is not involved. As we have discussed in the previous problem, we have to find the area enclosed by the upper curve, that is the parabola, minus the area enclosed by the lower curve, that is the line, for y from the parabola minus y from the line. From the parabola, it is 2 root x. From the line, it is x. We know the formula for root x. It is 2 by 3 x power 3 by 2. For x, it is x square by 2. For 2 into 2 by 3, when I put 4, it is uh, root 2 the whole cube. For 2 power 3 by 2, we are substituting there the value for x also. And at the lower limit, it is 0. For final answer, 8 by 3 square units. 8 by 3 square units. Now this is the diagram for it. Area is 8 by 3 square units where it is a RHS parabola and a line passing through the origin. You applied the idea that area enclosed by the upper curve minus area enclosed by the lower curve. Let us move on to the next question. Area bounded by the region x square plus y square less than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to x plus y. Both are given as linear inequation and a quadratic inequation. The given curves are first is a circle and the second is a line. Let us try to solve them to get the point at which they are meeting. I am getting x square plus 1 minus x square whole square is equal to 1 by substituting the second equation in the first. I will get 2x square minus 2x is equal to 0. x square minus x is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 0 comma 1. For both this uh, circle and the line meet at x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. And this is the first x square plus y square less than or equal to 1, all the points inside the circle. And x square plus 1, x plus y greater than or equal to 1, that is the straight line where origin is not included. That is the shaded region where origin is not included. 
Now let us see it once again. That is x plus y greater than or equal to 1 is that uh, area, the region which we are seeing, the shaded region. And x square plus y square less than or equal to 1 is the area in inside the circle. Both of them, they cut a area which is being a uh, shaded region which we are seeing over here. Therefore, we are seeing here that from 0 to 1 we have to integrate, but we have to find y from the upper curve. x-axis is not involved in the shaded region. y from the upper curve, that is the circle, minus y from the lower curve, that is the straight line. For y from the circle, minus y from the line. From the circle, it is root 1 minus x square. From the line, it is 1 minus x. Okay. We are finding the integration now. We have to use the formula root a square minus x square formula. That is x by 2 into root a square minus x square plus a square by 2 into sin inverse of x by a minus 1 minus x integration is 1 minus x the whole square by 2 and the coefficient of x is minus 1. We are putting it in the denominator. Now we are substituting the upper limit 1 and we are seeing over here it is 1 by 2 root 1 minus 1 plus half into sin inverse 1 by 1 plus 1 minus the whole square by 2 minus when you put 0 the lower limit 0 by 2 into 1 minus 0 square root 1 minus 0 plus half into sin inverse 0 plus 1 minus 0 the whole square by 2. And uh, when you apply the limit sin inverse of 1 it will be pi by 2 and therefore the answer is pi by 4 minus 1 by 2 square units. Success is a dependent on efforts, all the best.